I'm Steve Radebush, Spec Machine. Behind me is the chassis for the 1385 steam locomotive from Mid-Continent Railway Museum. In mid-November, it was disassembled up at North Freedom and brought here. I am Mike Wall and the project manager for the 1385 rebuild. The 1385 is our most historic locomotive here at the Railroad Museum. It was built in 1907 by the American Locomotive Works and ran uh, for the Northwestern for many years. It was uh, put out of service and purchased by our organization in 1961 and has been here ever since. It's ran several times throughout the years here at the museum and spent quite a bit of time in the 80s running goodwill tours throughout the Midwest for the Chicago and Northwestern. We're restoring this locomotive because it's preserving part of uh, American history. There's not a lot of steam locomotives out there running and um, it's a, such an important part of our history and this is an important locomotive for the Midwestern region and is very well known. So it just, it needs to be restored and it's our mission and our passion. This is one of eight surviving Chicago and Northwestern locomotives, and this will be the only operating Chicago and Northwestern locomotive in the world. My name is Kelly Bauman. I'm the uh, operating superintendent for the railroad. I do this as a volunteer. Outside of this, I work in IT for the University of Wisconsin-Madison. When it becomes necessary to move equipment for uh, lifting by cranes or other repairs or even for display, we'll use uh, one of our various locomotives to move the equipment around. Uh, in this case, we're using the uh, MCRY number no. 4, which is a uh, 1943 uh, GE diesel electric locomotive. Over the last uh, several months, we've removed parts to get it prepped for movement. The boiler you see sitting behind us is uh, the boiler that came off. That came off about a month ago and today we will be lifting uh, the running gear, putting it on a semi-trailer to haul it to a shop in Middleton, Wisconsin for rebuild. This project is made possible by donors. There's a group of five of us that head up this rebuild, and one of those people is actually the Wagner Foundations. I'm Bobby Wagner with the Wagner Foundation. We've been involved in this uh, steam train project since its inception. The Wagner Foundation is the lead donor on this project. They've done a challenge grant, a quarter million dollar challenge grant of a project that will run close to a million and a half dollars by the time we're done. My husband was in the aviation business, it had nothing to do with steam trains and for all of his life he loved airplanes. Later in his life he thought he would really like to do something with a steam train because he remembered it from his childhood and got very interested in steam trains and we came to the museum here. We did a few small projects around the museum and the more he thought about it he wanted to work on rebuilding a steam train and we ended up picking the 1385 which is very historic. The tender has just been delivered here to the museum. It's finished. What happens in the tender tank is the water and coal for the locomotive are stored there so when it goes out and runs that's really the car that supplies water to the boiler and the coal for the firemen to be able to fire the locomotive. We're moving the running gear uh, down to Middleton where it will be totally rebuilt and ready to go. And we're going to be doing a full rebuild on the chassis, brake rigging, spring rigging, all bearings, all pins, bushings, board of the cylinders, and we hope to have it completed in 12 to 14 months. All the parts will end up here to be rebuilt and reassembled, and then back to North Freedom it'll go.